Hi everybody, this is Wayne McDonald from Play Like the Pros School of Music and I want to teach you how to play the guitar. This video is specifically geared towards those of you who are just starting out. So what we're going to do first, we're going to talk about just tuning the guitar. I've been playing the guitar since I was 8 years of age. I'm 41 years old now. So I have a little bit of experience and I continue to grow and continue to, to stay open and continue to learn. Okay, so we're going to start with the bottom E string. Okay, and then we're going to go to A. Next string is D. Next string is G. The next string, the second string is B. And the first string is the open high E. Okay, so starting on the sixth string, we have E, A, D, G, B, and then the high E. Okay, so that's a great place to start. Now for the guitar, the best place to start is learn just the six primary chords in the key of G major. So we're going to start with the first one, which is the G major chord. Okay, so that's your G major. So what I'm doing, my middle finger is on the third fret on the sixth string. Okay, my pointer finger is on fret number two on the fifth string. Okay, and then my ring finger is on the third fret, and I'm going to put that on string number two. And then my pinky is on the first string. Okay, and I'm going to strum all six strings. Okay, so that's a G major chord. Okay, very easy. The next one we're going to go to, we're going to play them right in order. You're going to hear it go up in tone. It's A minor. Here's A minor. Okay, now for A minor, I'm taking my pointer finger, I'm going to the first fret on the second string, okay, which is the note C. My middle finger is on the second fret on string number four. My ring finger is on the second fret on the third string, which is the A note. So I'm going to strum all five strings. Okay, so there's A minor. So we have G major, A minor. Okay, the next one's B minor. Now this is the hardest one in the key. I'll show you what's called the bar chord first. Most people, including myself, when I first began to learn the guitar, I couldn't play it. This finger would do that. It would not lay down. I used to get that type of sound. And it was frustrating and it took a little while to be able to do that. If you're not able to play the bar chord the way we played A minor, just slide that up, slide your hand up to where your pointer finger is on the third position. And what we're going to do, we can only play the fourth string, third, and the second. That's an easy way of playing B minor. Okay, so we have G major, A minor, B minor, if you want to do it the easy way, or the bar chord. Of course, the bar chord sounds nice and full. The next one is C major. Okay, so for C major, your pointer finger is on the first fret on the second string. Middle finger is on the second fret on the fourth. And then your ring finger is on the third fret on the fifth. So we have. That's your C chord. Okay. So we have G major, A minor. B minor, C major. Next one is going to be D major. D major is right here. Pointer finger on the second fret, third string. That's your A note. Middle finger is on the second fret on the first string. Ring finger is on the third fret on the second string. There's your D major. Okay. And I'm wrapping my thumb around to put what's called the F sharp in the bass. It'll be a D over an F sharp, but it's not necessary. You can just do this. Hit the fourth string through the first. That's a D major. And then the sixth chord is E minor, which is the easiest one out of all of them. So my middle finger's on the second fret on string number five. And my ring fingers on the second fret on string number four. And I'm playing all six strings. Okay, so just to recap, 
These are the six primary chords in the key of G major. It's the best key to start with on the guitar. G major, A minor, B minor, you can play it as the bar chord, or you could play a simpler version of it. A little limited with the strings that you have to choose from. C major, D major, E minor. Okay, so that's your six primary chords, and you can literally play every kind of song you could possibly imagine out there, and in any key that you can possibly imagine with a device called a capo. It's a little clip. I have one right here. It fits on the neck. If you just learn those first six chords in the key of G, those primary chords, if you put the capo, let's say, on the second position, and then you play those G chords, now this is going to make the G become an A. So it's going to put me in the key of A major, so it's going to make everything go up. And then if I play the finger position that I showed you for A minor, that's actually going to be B minor. Okay? So I'm not going to spend time on that today, but I just wanted to take time and just introduce you to the first six primary chords in the key of G major. There's one more, it's a diminished chord. Not going to go into that today. I want to keep it real simple. The primary six in the key of G major you need to learn is the G major, the A minor, the B minor, the C major, the D major, and the E minor. If you learn those six with the help of a capo, you can just know those six chords and you can literally play any song out there and in any key that exists by placing the capo in specific places on the neck. And I'll show you that in some of the upcoming videos. So I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting videos regularly and teaching you how to play uh, and become a better player. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Hopefully it helped you.